So it seems someone couldn't stay away from the birdcage. Let's check him out. <laughs> So even though I record relocated this carpet snake the day before this, he made his way back in no time flat, less than 24 hours, 350 to 400 meters away. He found his way back to almost exactly where he was captured the first time around. Uh, I struggled due to, as you can see, the dodgy location that he was in, in a tight little corner, uh, lots of angular bits of wood to hang on to, and look at those muscles. Look at those muscles flex. Carpet snakes are basically tubes of muscle, and as close as I did get to pulling him out, <clears throat> I am too old, too slow, and too weak to just reef him out and uh, risk damage to this snake, which I did not want to do. I could have pulled him super hard and then risk damaging him but that's not my modus operandi I'm not interested in harming a creature that I'm trying to relocate I'm interested in the longevity of this creature's life but he did not want to come with me no matter how much I tried and like I said same snake Less than 24 hours later, or approximately 24 hours later, he'd made his way back to the same spot, to the same pre-packaged food that he wanted in his belly. But we didn't want him to find his way into the aviary. So... I tried to make a few efforts at removing him as futile as they may have seemed. Second attempt from inside above the big fish tank and still my efforts were futile, completely useless. Uh, it is very difficult reaching up into a corner of roof when uh, there's a fish tank in the way and you're only standing on a milk crate. Excuses, excuses, Blackie, that's right. I'm full of excuses. But this guy did not want to come with me, full stop. He wanted to stay and eat birds out of an aviary. Ah, if only, if only all food was that easy. <clears throat> so eventually I, uh, no matter how many times I grabbed him and thought I could pull him, his musculature seemed to be stronger than mine and he was quite resilient and desired to stay in the same location did not want me to pull him out at all so I decided it was best just to leave him be until till this guy comes along this is one of one of my sons bang just like that. Just like that. He doesn't stuff around like his dad stuffs around. Just goes straight in. Grab, grab, got him. Let's go. Snake caught again. 
he is by far and away a much better <coughs> snake wrangler than I am. Uh, he didn't stuff around, waste time. Straight in, secured his mark, got him, bag him up, let's go. What a legend. If you want to know how to snake, how to snag a snake, talk to this guy. Clearly he knows. Look at him go. Relaxed, comfortable. He knows exactly what he's doing. Righto. Here we go again. Not even 24 hours later. As mentioned, handy dandy SpongeBob bag. Head coming up towards my warm fingers. Let's, um, this time, whoops, he's going to be a little bit giddy when he comes out. I'm going to try, we've gone another three or four hundred metres away from where we were yesterday. And, um, let's see if that makes a difference. He's spicy, he wants to come out more than yesterday. Gonna be on the other oh there he goes over the log can you see him? To go around the side. He's a whole bit immersed in shade. But yes, considering that previous release location he made his way back you know a good 600 700 meters maybe maybe not that far he's um considerably further away this time ouch shit oh Crikey, he certainly looks long when he's spread out like that. We'll, we'll, um, you know, try a little bit further today. Nice bit of water down here beside this section of the creek. Massive wood pile over yonder. Another house with some chooks over there. Fingers crossed he smells some other food source than the boy's Avery. <clears throat> crinkle, crinkle on the dried up leaves. So we'll uh, leave him be, we'll cross our fingers, badunk, whoops, helps if you're pointing at the scenery, Bucky. Cross our fingers that he enjoys this home a little bit better than the previous one I forced him into. And we'll see how he goes from here. And the saga will continue. So we'll leave him be. Let him get acclimated to his new environment. And see how he goes. We'll see if we see him again tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. I'll check you.